Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ana Elena. We're going to tap into some love messages for you guys. Please do me a favor really quick, Pisces. Hit the like button. I appreciate it. You know how much it helps, so thank you in advance. If you want to book a personal reading, you can do that at monaelena.com. I am going to be pulling for two energies, Pisces. Please honor your discernment, okay, and use it to determine who the other energy is going to be for you in today's reading, all right? Here we go. All right, Pisces, everyone is doing their best, says... There are really only two types of people, those you now love and those you will love until there's only one type of person. And then we will probably hit replay. This really gives me like there's going to be some shifts in perspective and in, in perspectives, excuse me, when it comes to some type of romantic connection that you're dealing with. OK, or the way that you see love if you're single. OK, this feels like a perspective change. This feels like walking in someone else's shoes, seeing something through someone else's eyes. OK, um, spirits give me the word compassion. Right. Empathy. OK, maybe this could be you, vice versa, mutual. Let's see. OK, you got the two of wands here. In the two of swords. So I see you in a position of like trying to decide something. Yeah, look at you. High priest is showing up. In a position of trying to decide something. Do I move forward with, some, with something? Two of wands can be about partnership as well. Death card and the six of pentacles. Who are you? Who are we connecting with? Pisces today. Thank you. The nine of cups in reverse. And that's a Pisces card. The ten of cups. That's a Pisces card. And the justice card. Okay, you both are at an impasse because this person's figuring out too. This person's like, well, what makes me happy now? Has that changed? Is this what I still want? Everyone is doing their best. I feel like you guys are going to be seeing each other's perspective as to why you both are at this point. Some of you are dealing with a Libra. Okay. <clears throat> the Ace of Swords. Yeah, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, three of Pentacles and the devil it could be a Capricorn. This person, how they're feeling about it, you know, they are trying to gain clarity, especially with the devil there. What have been the toxic traits about this connection or what makes, you know, they're, they're really trying to gain clarity about this. Clarity about what? The three of cups. Are you guys friends? Are you still friends? Five of swords, page of cups is basic trust still there. The world and the moon. Oh, I'm hearing that Usher song, Climax. <clears throat> he says, going nowhere fast, we've reached our climax. Okay. Let me see. How do you feel about that? Okay. Ten of Cups and the Ace of Wands. You guys are redefining whatever this is. Six of Cups, yeah. Because this part, excuse me, you are wanting this old, like an old version of you guys back. Six of Cups here. Knight of Pentacles. You feel like y'all have gotten far away from like what y'all used to be or how y'all used to connect, how close you guys used to be. Some of you, this could be like a childhood sweetheart, what some people will call, you know, childhood sweetheart. I'm hearing weather the storm. So you guys could have gone through a lot together. The Knight of Pentacles. This person is wanting to take things slow. Yeah, Eight of Wands and the Three of Swords because they feel like the last time they took it fast, they got their heart broken or they got hurt. I feel like that. The Two of Swords. Oh, okay. Six of Cups and Judgment. They feel like that because they feel like in the past you may have judged you know, gave them, giving them an ultimatum about something or changed your mind about something is something that really hurt them. And I'm not saying you intentionally try to do that either. Okay. Strength card in the sun. You could have expressed a truth to this person that really stung. So this person's really apprehensive about moving forward. Um, it could have been a truth, you know, maybe they needed to hear it, you know, but for whatever reason it did sting. Um, <clears throat> Okay, that is a lot of energy coming out here. Let's see though. High Priestess, the Eight of Wands, and the King of Wands. Conviction. The 
five of wands and the six of cups. So this, I feel like this is you telling me, like telling me what you told this person in the past. Okay. And it really could have been a tough conversation about this person's motivations or just like their ambition or, you know, them gaining momentum in something. The king of wands is that has a lot of motivation, has a vision to be paired with the eight of wands and the high priestess. It's like somebody being in their purpose. I feel, you know, maybe you were talking to this person about that. You know, what is your purpose? And I will say it does feel like this person is thinking deeper about that. You could have them being more introspective you know, thinking about their life. So again, we are seeing different perspective. This perspectives, excuse me, this person is, looks like being able to see what you may have been trying to say. Okay. And Pisces, you could also be seeing, you know, things through this person's side as well, through a more empathetic lens. Okay. I'm hearing benefit of the doubt. Okay. What's this person. You have the Knight of Cups here. We have the Moon and the Four of Swords. Okay, so this person dreams about the things that they want to do with you. So if you've been asking this person for more romance, for more fun, for doing more things, this person really, you know, um, thinks about that. And the things they really think about it all the time, visualizing the things that they want to do for you, the romantic things, the dates I want, they want to plan, the surprises, the, the gestures. Okay. the world here, the wheel of fortune and the three of wands. And honestly, Pisces, you feel like this person is just, I don't know. You, you kind of feel, I want to throw the word procrastination out there. You could feel like they're holding themselves back. They're, you know, kind of afraid to end one phase of their life and step into the next. And you kind of feel like that's trickling into you guys's look at that connection. I say they're holding themselves back. King of cups and the eight of swords kind of trapped in their mind, you know, not able to move it's kind of creating some stagnation maybe Cause remember we started this with saying you both are at kind of like an impasse a, a decision an ultimatum excuse me pisces get it one more coffee <laughs> all right Okay, we have the three of wands here, page of pentacles and the chariot. So it's speaking of motivation, this person could be on the hunt for a job. Okay. Um, if this is a long distance relationship, they could be offering to come see you soon. Okay. Yeah. Look at that two of cups and the four of pentacles, but I more so see this as this person like looking for something like a job or something like that. They are seeking something. Okay. And with the four of pentacles and two of cups behind that, it feels like in an effort to be more secure in the relationship, to secure the relationship more. So for example, maybe your person is looking for a new job that offers more money so that they can better support you in the connection, right? And you guys' future plans, just one of the many ways it could play out, right? Um, yeah, king of pentacles in the star, right? There's something this person is taking initiative on in their own life. Uh, especially is in terms of finances, okay, to kind of like beef that up a little bit, okay. This is person long term goals with. Okay, got two cards: Queen of Pentacles oh, and the King of Cups. Oh my God, and the Hermit card. Yeah, this person does. It does feel. Oh my God, the Hermit, the Five of Swords here. This could be a uh, a Virgo as well. It does feel like this person. Um, is seeing things from a different perspective. I feel like they thought you were out to get them. Five of Swords, the Hermit. And yeah, it just feels like they're looking at this with a lot more loving energy. Okay. Because how you felt about them, Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, there was really a, no malice. Like, I don't feel like you were really, you were trying to hurt their feelings. Um. I'm sorry, guys. My son was in here and, and, and left Caillou on child. So, my well, apologies, guys. <laughs> All right. The Empress. All right. And the Nine of Cups here. Will you keep shining that light? Didn't I tell you? I told you guys in a general reading, like a couple general readings ago, <laughs> to not dim your light. And this is exactly why. Okay. As much as some people might hate on it or misunderstand it at first. And I'm not coming for your person. I'm speaking in general. 
<clears throat> so I've seen it happen with Pisces. People benefit from it. It heals. It it helps people grow. You're a very spiritual sign, Pisces. Very deep. So keep shining that light. That is literally what Spirit's saying with this. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles here. I don't know how much you're healing people. Okay. Pisces ending card. Thank you. Okay. Listen, you got the last quarter moon in Scorpio and it says reveal what needs to be seen. And I actually feel like you've done that already or some of you maybe it's coming up. But for most of you, I feel like you've done it already. And this is the aftermath of that. You did. You said something to somebody that they needed to hear, you know, and it may have they may have taken it hard at first. But it feels like this person is coming around and they're saying Pisces is not out to get me like this is actually really helping and I'm liking this path. So, hey, I love this for you, Pisces. I'm wishing you guys all the best, all right? I pray these messages find you well. Most importantly, I pray they are helpful, okay? If you want to book a personal reading, you can do that at monaelena.com or hit the link in the description box. And um, please don't forget to hit that like button too, all right? I appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one. All right, bye.